Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. After hundreds of years searching for a worthy heir, a wizard grants his powers to a teenager, who can now transform into a great superhero by saying a single word. Today we will recap the story of the 2019 movie, Shazam. One winter night, during a blizzard, Thad takes a trip with his father and older brother. They are on their way to the home of the boy's grandfather, where they will spend Christmas. On the way, Thad grabs a toy to distract himself and Sid takes the ball out of his hands. Despite always picking on his younger brother, Sid is the favorite son and always receives his father's support. When he manages to retrieve his toy, Thad notices that something is wrong, as strange numbers begin to appear on the screen. Suddenly, he realizes that his family members have disappeared and the windows of the vehicle begin to freeze. The boy takes courage and opens the door. In that instant, he finds a dark and gloomy place, similar to a cave. Thad walks through the place until he finds the wizard, the last surviving member of the Council of Wizards. He explains that he has sworn to protect the realms of the seven deadly sins, which are petrified like statues. However, over the years, the wizard has weakened. Therefore, he is looking for a champion to inherit his magic. However, before he can receive all that power, Thad will have to prove that he is pure of heart and strong of spirit. To do this, he will need to go through an evaluation, in which he is tested by the seven statues, who try to convince him to get the Eye of Sin. Just as the boy was about to get his hands on that stone, the wizard manages to stop him and comes to the conclusion that the boy is not worthy of receiving that power. The man then knocks his staff to the ground and sends Thad back to his world. When he realizes what has happened, the boy becomes desperate and begins to shout for the wizard to take him back. His father and brother try to calm him down and the vehicle they are in almost crashes into a truck. However, Mr. Savannah manages to swerve, and they slide down the road until they stop at a crossroads. After the scare, the man yells at Thad, claiming that it is his fault that the three of them almost died. Just then, a pickup truck appears at high speed and slams full force into the side of the car. Upon impact, the vehicle overturns and Mr. Savannah's body is thrown out. Luckily, the two brothers remain unharmed and find their father lying on the ground unable to move. After another failed attempt to find a pure heart to inherit his powers, the wizard releases a search spell to look for another worthy soul. Decades later, in Philadelphia, Billy makes a false report and calls the police to go to a pawn store, where he claims to have seen some thieves. When the policemen enter the establishment, the boy locks them in and breaks into the vehicle looking for information. He is looking for women between the ages of 28 and 40, with the last name Batson and living in Philadelphia. Upon arriving at the address, Billy remembers the day he got lost from his mother. They were at an amusement park and, in a game of target shooting, his mother managed to win a prize. The woman gives the small keychain to the child and states that with that compass, the boy will always find his way back home. As they were leaving, Billy bumped into a guy in the crowd and ended up losing his keychain. He let go of his mother's hand to look for the keychain and, after retrieving the object, cannot find her. When a woman realizes that the boy is lost, she gives him to a policeman, who does everything to find his mother. Years went by and they never saw each other again. To this day, Billy searches for her and hopes that this time he will be able to find her. He rings the doorbell and is answered by a woman he realizes is not his mother. Frustrated, the boy leaves, but is surprised by the police, who take him directly to the social worker. Miss Glover reports that the temporary home in Pittsburgh reported Billy missing two weeks ago, and this is not the first time this has happened. The family refuses to take the boy back, so he will have to go to another temporary home. This will be the seventh family to welcome Billy into their home, for all the other times the boy has run away to look for his mother. This time, he will be sheltered by a couple who coordinate a community home. Victor and Rosa say that they also grew up in foster homes, so they understand what Billy is going through. When they arrive home, the couple introduces the boy to his new siblings. All those children are orphans, just like him. Eugene is of Asian descent and addicted to online gaming. Darla is the youngest in the house and is extremely happy to meet her new brother. Mary is the oldest and is in her third year in school. She will soon be leaving home, as she plans to go to a university in California. As they walk up the stairs, Billy meets Pedro. Unlike Darla, Pedro is very quiet and barely greets the newcomer. Finally, the young man is introduced to Freddy, his new roommate. The boy has a disability and needs the help of a crutch to walk. Freddy shows Billy his rare collection of superhero items, including a bullet that was shot at Superman. This is the most valuable item in his collection. After getting to know his new home, Billy goes to the bathroom to throw away the notebook containing all the information he used in the search for his mother. The next day, he starts going to school with his new siblings and Darla makes sure to show him every corner of the school. 
Meanwhile, Dr. Lin works on a research project whose mission is to interview people who have gone through the same experience as Thad, the sponsor of the project. Miss Kwan tells details about her experience and Thad asks if she remembers seeing any symbols before she was abducted. The woman claims not to remember any of this, but says she was able to use her cell phone camera to record what happened moments before she was teleported. Watching the video, the man notices that those same symbols appeared on the clock in Miss Kwan's house and repeated themselves in sequence. For years he has been collecting testimonials from people who have gone through similar situations, but he had never seen anything like it. Immediately, the scientist runs into his office and writes the sequence of seven symbols seven times on a door, just as it appeared on the clock. Dr. Lin is certain that this is just a mass hysteria, and as she knocks on the door, she states that this is not real. At that instant, the woman's body begins to burn and turns to ashes. However, this scene of horror is not enough to intimidate Thad. He pulls the handle, and when he opens the door, he finds the wizard's hiding place. Even after all these years, the place is still exactly as it was in his memory. After going through the door, his body disappears from that plane. When he spots that man who dared to invade his kingdom, the wizard remembers when he first took him there. The scientist walks toward the Eye of Sin, and this time the wizard is too weak to stop him. When Thad takes the jewel, the seven deadly sins trapped in the statues are released and enter the crystal. The jewel then passes through Thad's skull and takes the place of his right eye. The wizard uses his powers to try to stop the monsters from escaping, but Thad uses his spell against him and the old man faints. On his way out of school, Billy runs into his foster home siblings and Freddy almost gets run over. Then Burke and his friend start beating the boy up. Despite Mary and Darla begging them to stop, the delinquents continue their kicking session, so Billy decides to act. He takes the boy's crutch and uses the object to attack the bullies. In this way, the boy manages to get the attention of those guys and buys Freddy time to escape. Billy runs through the streets and is chased by the bullies. In an attempt to lose them, the boy ends up in the subway and manages to save himself by getting on a train. Suddenly, strange symbols start appearing on the sign and everyone who was around disappears. The outside of the vehicle is frozen and, seconds later, the train stops. When the door opens, Billy realizes that he has ended up in a cave and, despite his fear, decides to go and explore the place. At that moment he meets the wizard, the man informs him that that place is the Rock of Eternity, where all magic originated. Thousands of years ago, the wizard Shazam and his six companions chose a champion to inherit their powers. However, this guy used his magic to take revenge, unleashing the seven deadly sins. Because of this, millions of lives were destroyed and entire civilizations disappeared from the face of the earth. Therefore, the wizard has vowed never to transfer his magic until he finds a person who is worthy, strong of spirit and pure of heart. Upon hearing this, Billy assures that he is not the person the wizard is looking for, but since the man is running out of time and has no other option, he decides to give his powers to the boy. At his request, Billy holds up the staff and pronounces the name, Shazam. At this moment, the frail boy turns into a mountain of muscles and the wizard disappears, being turned into ashes. When Billy returns to the subway, he runs off the train and everyone around stops to look at his costume. It is late at night and Rosa decides to call the social worker because she is worried that Billy has run away, since the boy has not come home from school. When Freddy is in the kitchen doing the dishes, Shazam appears. The man claims to be Billy and asks the boy to meet him outside the house when everyone goes to sleep. Even though Freddy is suspicious, he decides to check if this guy is telling the truth, and in the first minute of conversation he realizes that this is really Billy. Since he loves superheroes, the boy is extremely excited about that news and decides to help his friend to find out what his superpowers are. Shazam first tests his flying abilities, but soon discards the possibility of flying. Accidentally, he discovers that he is capable of shooting lightning bolts from his hands and knocks out the electrical power to the entire neighborhood. Minutes later, they go to a deserted location so that the hero can train how to use his powers. Suddenly, they hear a woman screaming and Shazam goes to help, after all, that's what superheroes do. This is when he discovers his hyperspeed. However, after knocking down the assailant, the hero discovers that it was he who was shouting, because the victim had attacked his assailant with pepper spray. Shazam intends to turn the thief over to the authorities, but accidentally throws the guy away while trying to stop him from escaping. Frightened by this superhuman strength, the woman decides to run away and gives all her money to Shazam so that he won't hurt her. With all that cash in hand, they decide to go to a convenience store to buy beer, since Billy now appears to be a 30-year-old adult. Minutes after they enter the store, two criminals show up to steal the money from the cash register and Shazam goes to confront them. When he is shot, he discovers that he is immune to firearms and asks the men to shoot him again so that Freddy can record. After the recording, 
Shazam throws the robbers out of the store and gets several beers as a reward. The young people realize that it is not as good as they thought and decide to exchange all the bottles for snacks and soda. When they arrive home, the pair must sneak into the bedroom, because Victor and Rosa are in the living room. They hear the sound of someone coming up the stairs and Freddy claims that he has found Billy. The boy says that they are both tired and need to sleep, but Rosa goes after them. To hide, the duo enters Darla's room, and the girl discovers that Billy is a superhero. He tries to explain how he got that way and says the word, Shazam, during the story. To his surprise, he immediately returns to his original form and now knows how to transform himself. Since she is always concerned about being a good sister, Darla promises not to tell Billy's secret to anyone. The next morning, Thad goes to the headquarters of his father's company and breaks into the meeting room. In front of all the partners, the man recalls the night he was in a car accident with his father and brother. Since then, he carries the guilt of having left his father in a wheelchair. All because they did not believe Thad's story. Now the man is there to prove that he was telling the truth and uses his super strength to throw Sid through the window. He then releases the demons to devour everyone present in that room. Mr. Savannah remains alive to see his associates being slaughtered, their heads torn off. Upon realizing the tragedy, the receptionist starts screaming and runs for help, but it is too late. After hearing his father pleading for his life, Thad orders Greed to devour him, for, according to him, this is the sin that best suits his father. Before leaving, the demons inform the scientist that the wizard has found his champion and order Thad to find him before he discovers his true powers, for when he does, they will all be defeated. At the end of class, Burke and his friend return to seek revenge at the school where Billy and Freddy study. However, as soon as the offenders get out of the vehicle, it disappears, and seconds later it falls from the sky. In this instant, Freddy appears with a camera in his helmet, which he used to record Shazam's revenge. Afterwards, they spend the entire afternoon training Billy's superpowers, and Freddy records everything firsthand. Shazam passes all the strength tests, but is still unable to fly. The endurance tests are also a success, but he discovers that he has no laser eyes like Superman, and no power of teleportation. Freddy's videos have earned hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, and slowly Shazam decides to stop hiding. Even the hero begins to enjoy getting attention from people, and even uses his powers to charge their cell phones while walking through the mall. He discovers that his electricity also allows him to get soda from the machines and money from the ATM. Despite all the fun, at school, the chase continues and the delinquents continue to threaten Freddy. So the boy advises them to leave him alone, otherwise he will ask his friend Shazam to eliminate them. Upon hearing this, the boys start laughing, because they can't believe that such a wimp would meet the most famous superhero in town. To prove that he is telling the truth, Freddy claims that Shazam will show up at the school the next day during lunch, and Burke says that if the hero doesn't show up, he's in trouble. The next day, after getting off the bus, Billy decides to skip class once again. Freddy then asks if Billy will show up for lunch, but the boy doesn't like to be used to help Freddy problems to fit in. He spends all morning taking pictures with fans in the park when he spots Mary crossing the street. The girl was about to be run over and Shazam manages to save her. The hero calls the girl by name and asks her why she is sad. Mary tells him that she has been approved for college, but doesn't know if she wants to go to California and leave her family. Shazam then advises the young woman to think of herself first, otherwise she will always be stuck in foster care. Upon hearing this, Mary becomes suspicious because the guy seems to know where she lives. However, before the girl could ask, Shazam leaves. Later, he gathers dozens of people to watch his lightning show and Freddy shows up. The boy is furious that Shazam didn't show up at lunchtime and shows the superhero a piece of his underwear that was ripped off during a wedgie. Billy tries to get around the situation and continues to let off lightning bolts to distract people. The trouble begins when one of these bolts of lightning strikes a bus tire, causing a serious accident. The vehicle collides and hangs by the bridge's metal cables. Some passengers slip and fall on the windshield, if the bus hits the ground, everyone is eliminated. However, when the vehicle falls, Shazam manages to hold it up and the passengers are saved without any serious injuries. When the firemen leave the scene, the hero gives an interview to the newspaper, and as soon as the reporters leave, he gets a lecture from Freddy. The boy claims that all that power has only served to make Billy a stuck-up guy and a lousy friend. The boy turns his back to leave, and then Thad appears. The supervillain says that Shazam has two choices, surrender his power or die. The hero tries to convince him to leave, but he is punched and thrown away. Then, the scientist grabs Shazam by the neck and carries him up into the clouds. When thrown down, the superhero is forced to try to fly again, and manages to awaken this power just as he is about to crash. 
he gets so excited about this novelty that he doesn't pay attention to anything else around him and ends up being run over by a truck. When he recovers, the bald man attacks him again, and Billy goes to his friend for help. Shazam is taking a beating and destroying the entire city by being thrown all over the place. As he falls into the fitting room of a clothing store, he tries to think of a plan to defeat that villain, but is met by him before he can formulate an idea. Then they end up in a toy store and Shazam realizes that he is no match for that guy. He tries to escape, but is attacked by lightning. While everyone runs scared from the mall, Shazam transforms and uses his Billy costume to escape unnoticed. Not knowing the whereabouts of his friend, Freddy enters the mall to look for him and is forcibly taken away because Thad sees the boy talking to Shazam on TV. Then, the villain forces the boy to reveal the whereabouts of the superhero. Meanwhile, Billy arrives home and his foster parents help him tend to his injuries. His siblings are gathered in the living room watching TV and see Freddy talking to Shazam. Then all the pieces fall into place and Mary discovers that Billy is the superhero. Darla is relieved that they found out without her help, because this way she kept her reputation as a good sister intact. When Rosa and Victor leave the room, they go to talk to Billy and reveal that they have discovered his true identity. Eugene takes the opportunity to tell some more news and reveals that after Pedro found Billy's notebook in the trash, he did some research and found the whereabouts of Billy's mother. The woman lives in a nearby neighborhood and the boy runs to the address to find her. Seeing the boy leaving, the couple goes after him. Soon after, the doorbell rings and Darla answers the door. She is surprised to see Freddy accompanied by a strange man, who enters the house looking for Billy. Meanwhile, the boy arrives at the address Eugene found and rings the doorbell. Marilyn Batson answers the door and does not recognize the boy. When Billy tells her she is his mother and tries to hug her, the woman pushes him away and tells him the truth. Marilyn reveals that after Billy disappeared, she went looking for him and saw him with the police officers. At the time, she was only 17 years old and a single mother, so she decided to abandon the boy so that the boy would have the opportunity to find a family that could give him a decent life. Upon hearing this, Billy hands the keychain to his mother and states that he needs to return to his home. Now that he knows the truth, he is determined to make his temporary home a permanent one. As he is leaving, the boy receives a call from Freddy's cell phone, but is startled to hear Thad's voice ordering him to go home. After transforming, the hero goes to save his siblings, who are imprisoned by the villain. When Shazam appears, his rival opens a portal to the Rock of Eternity. Billy enters that place so that his siblings can be safe, and Thad orders the superhero to transfer his power to him through the wizard's staff. At that instant, the seven deadly sins leave the man's body and he is hit by a batarang. As he looks back, he realizes that Billy's siblings went there to save him, and Shazam notices that that harmless blow was able to cause an injury to the villain. This was possible because he weakens when the demons are out of his body. When the deadly sins return to Thad's body, the hero takes the weapon, with the help of his powers, manages to wound the bald man. Then the group runs away, but cannot find the door, because Rosa has closed it on the other side. In an attempt to get out of that place, Eugene opens a random door and is almost devoured by alligator-headed men. Pedro opens another door and is attacked by a giant carnivorous plant. Then Billy remembers that the first time he was in that place, he just thought of the subway and managed to get back. He uses the same strategy this time and they all end up in a nightclub. Thad shows up soon after and Billy takes his siblings to an amusement park so they can go unnoticed. However, he forgets that every time he transforms, lightning falls from the sky and this reveals his location. In order to attract his opponent, the villain attacks the people in the park and shoots at the Ferris wheel, where the two school bullies are. With no other choice, Shazam goes there to confront him and manages to take down the enemy. Thad releases one of his demons to attack the hero and Freddy realizes that those monsters are the source of his power. Then, Mary has the idea to call attention to it so that the seven deadly sins will leave the bald man's body and he will lose his strength. That way, Billy will have a better chance of defeating him. The plan works and the youngsters begin to be chased. Shazam attacks one of those creatures, but its body turns to smoke and the hero is unable to hit it. Instead, the monster grabs his cape and pulls him back. Upon being grabbed by the demon, the boy transforms again and runs away until he slips into a frozen lake. When he gets up, Thad tries to drown him and Mary shoots the villain, who holds the bullet with his fingers. Although he missed his target, this distraction allowed Billy to buy time to transform. Again, his siblings are being held hostage and Billy decides to turn himself in when he sees that Darla is about to be devoured. The hero kneels before the man and holds his staff. At that instant, the demons return to Thad's body and the hero finds an opportunity to attack him. He then takes the staff and uses it to transfer part of his powers to each of his siblings. After saying the word, Shazam, they each turn into a superhero and Billy destroys the staff. 
Now, they will need to face the deadly sins while the boy tries to remove the stones stuck in the villain's eye. They fly into downtown Philadelphia and, in an attempt to hit his enemy, Thad destroys a giant statue and fragments of it are scattered all over the city. A young boy was playing fight with his Batman and Superman toys when he watches from his window the fight between the new hero and his villain. Meanwhile, the youngsters are taking quite a beating trying to figure out how to use their new superpowers to destroy the demons. One of the creatures decides to attack the people who are trapped on the Ferris wheel, but Darla manages to save them with her hyperspeed while Pedro holds the toy. However, when he is attacked, the boy is forced to let go of the Ferris wheel and Freddy manages to save the last people who were still trapped there. Coincidentally, those are the guys who picked on him at school. After being knocked to the top of a building, Shazam has the idea to lure the last deadly sin that is in Thad's body out. Of all the seven, the only one that is still with him is Envy. When provoked, the demon begins to show its face and soon leaves the villain's body to attack its enemy. In this instant, Thad loses all his powers, including his ability to fly. The creature attacks Shazam, who uses his lightning to pulverize it. The hero still manages to save the villain before his body is disintegrated by crashing to the ground. After taking him to an empty place, Shazam pulls out the Eye of Sin and the demons go up in smoke. His siblings appear soon after, and a crowd quickly approaches to congratulate them on their work. With the stone in place, the seven deadly sins are transformed into statues again. During Christmas dinner, Billy is thankful for his family and says that now, finally, he has found a home. When they return to school, everything goes back to the way it was before and Freddy is seen as a failure, but everything changes when Shazam visits him in the cafeteria during lunch and claims that the boy is his best friend. After sitting down, he reports that he has called another friend to pay a visit, and a guy in a Superman uniform approaches. So, what did you think of this movie? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like it and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.